For this video, we're looking at 20 new games released on Apple Arcade from January to June 2021. Please note, this list does not include App Store greats or timeless classics, as I don't consider those as new games. Number 20, we have Star Trek Legends. Star Trek Legends is a turn-based RPG with an epic storyline featuring all of your favorite Star Trek heroes and villains from every Star Trek canon. The gameplay, mechanics, and graphics are reminiscent of a free-to-play game, but without all the pay-to-win elements. You can play the game at your own pace, and there is plenty of content to keep you engaged. Number 19 is Lumen. Lumen is made by the creators of Tint on Apple Arcade. Lumen contains their signature art design, animations, and music, but has a bigger focus on puzzle solving and contains a story. Lumen starts out with you finding an antique box belonging to Miss Olivia McLumen. Inside are her inventions in cinematic frames, and you must restore them by solving puzzles using lights, lenses, and mirrors. Number 18, we have Simon's Cat Storytime. Match 3 games may not be for everyone, as they are more aimed at casual gamers, but at least this version is a premium experience with no paywalls or misleading advertising. Simon's Cat is based on the popular animated series. You'll solve Match 3 events to help the community rebuild the gardens before a new building site replaces it. Play this game on iPhone or iPad for the best experience. Number 17 is Populous Run. Populous Run is a bizarre running game where you control a crowd of people trying to reach the end of levels whilst avoiding tasty treats. Players will also have to deal with bosses from Macarin, Donut and Burger. I love the game's colour palette, funny animations and sound effects, and the upbeat soundtrack with its choral singing. It's quite a challenging game though, and I would suggest playing with a controller. Number 16, we have Takeo no Tatsuin Pop Tap Beat. I hope I said that correctly. It's time to sync to the rhythm and drum away to the notes. This game has always been a very popular traditional Japanese drumming music series that has been around since 2001, I believe. Tap Beat is the new arcade version. We have four difficulty levels on offer, various modes and different costumes. Plus, you can drum against your friends in two to four player multiplayer. Cool. Number 15 is Cut the Rope Remastered. Cut the Rope Remastered brings the core experience you've seen from previous games in the series. Cut ropes, avoid obstacles, and use boosters to get the delicious candy to Om Nom. But now the world and levels contain 3D and 2D assets, and Om Nom has new animations. My favorite part of this game is just seeing the animations unfold as you choose a level. Number 14, we have Oceanhorn Chrono's Dungeon. Oceanhorn Chrono's Dungeon is set 200 years after Oceanhorn 2, and instead of being 3D, is now 2D. You can play as one of four heroes and take them on a mission to defeat Kronos. Each character has a different playstyle, and you can switch between them on the fly. There are boss fights, infinite replayability, and heaps of items. It also has local multiplayer for up to four players. Number 13 is Nuts, a surveillance mystery. Nuts is an adventure game all about squirrels. Yes, squirrels. You play as a field researcher, staying in a caravan on a colorful island. You will place down cameras during the day and then watch the footage at night to see what these sneaky squirrels are up to. Where are they hiding their nuts? What do they do during the night? Why do they behave so weirdly? You'll hopefully find out these answers. Number 12, we have Survival Z. I thought this was going to be a generic zombie shooter based off the name. Boy was I wrong. Survival Z is an action-packed zombie survival shooter where you will defend yourself against waves of zombies across 50 levels. 
think plant vs zombies defense gameplay and slay the spires level progression. Plus, you can find survivors on your journey and 15 playable characters and can collect and upgrade your equipment. Number 11 is Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove is a fantastic life sim about camping on a haunted island and an ever-changing one at that. You play as a spirit scout and will run around the island talking to spirits, accepting their tasks. You can go fishing, collect spirit animals, craft decorations, and find secrets on the map. The game's progression happens in real time, so you will only be able to do a certain number of tasks each day. Number 10, we have NBA 2K21 Arcade Edition. NBA makes its way to arcade with an improved player builder system, AI, physics engine, and animations. It contains the signature modes from Arena Quick Match, Online Multiplayer, Blacktop Quick Match, and My Career, containing a new storyline that's specific for the Arcade Edition. The game is missing some features that I hope are added in future updates, being a starting tutorial, old control schemes, and commentary audio. Number 9 is Hitchhiker. Bleeding the lines between visual novel and interactive drama, Hitchhiker is a road trip odyssey where you'll hitch rides with strangers. As you play, the protagonist will start exploring the unknown in order to find himself. It's a very confusing game, containing many weird puzzles, and the story can be up to personal interpretation. But ultimately, it has some important messages to share about love, family, and trust. Number 8, we have Spire Blast. Spire Blast has you working with a hungry dragon to collapse towers in this physics-based match puzzler. It's definitely the best match-based puzzler on Apple Arcade, that is for sure. Then again, there are not many of these on the service anyway, which is unfortunate. It offers the formula of a classic, casual, free mobile game optimized for a premium experience. While the game is obviously on Apple TV and Mac, you'll want to play it on iPhone or iPad for the best experience. Number 7 is Legends of Kingdom Rush. Compared to the previous tower defense games in the series, Kingdom Rush is an RPG with rogue-like elements. Move heroes on a hex-based grid and engage in turn-based combat. I was worried this battle mechanic would not work, but it certainly does. Legends of Kingdom Rush is fun, addicting, and a fresh take on the series. I also love the colors, magical spell effects, and the map progression. Number 6 we have Clap Hands Golf. Clap Hands was previously a PlayStation exclusive. This has all changed as the newest game is on arcade. Play golf across modes such as World Tournament, Tour Mode, Score Attack, Local and Online Multiplayer, and Survival Mode. It's definitely a truer form of sport compared to What the Golf, but it's still an over-the-top and fresh take on the sport. It fits well on Apple Arcade. Number 5 we have Sping. Sping is a fantastic hyper casual game. Despite popular belief, there are actually not enough of these sorts of games on the service, and it's really disappointing. At least we have Sping. Sping contains 250 plus levels, daily challenges, 7 themes, and 48 characters. While it's been optimized great for controller support on Apple TV, Mac, and iPad, definitely play the game on an iPhone with just one hand. Trust me, it's an amazing experience. Number four, we have World of Demons. World of Demons takes AAA gameplay and mixes it into a linear and arcade experience. This game is so fun to play, and it can be quite challenging to master the combat and all the abilities you'll unlock. I strongly suggest a controller for this one though. It's sadly not very well optimized for keyboard and mouse, and a controller will always beat touch controls for this sort of game. Number 3 is The Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail is the official successor to the 1971 original. 
It is a fantastic modern twist on the trials and tribulations of the road to Oregon. In fact, some of you, if you're old enough, may have played the original on the Apple II. The game was loved by adults and children and tricked us into learning history, and this modern version does the same thing. Number two, we have Wonderbox the Adventure Maker. In Wonderbox, you can create your own adventure, try out others, or just play through the single player campaign. In fact, you guys have submitted 25,000 creations, which is insane. Up to this point, no game on Arcade has had such an active community, and it's fantastic to see. There is nothing better than jumping into a lobby with up to four players, and then discovering all the different adventures. Number one is Fantasian. Fantasian is the latest RPG masterpiece from Mistwalker and renowned Final Fantasy creator Hironabu Sakakichi. Hope I said that correctly. This game is special for a number of reasons. The art style consists of real sets scanned into the game as 3D backgrounds, but it also has a dimension battle mechanic and a legendary soundtrack by a composer, and I'm gonna say this incorrectly, Nabu Umatsu. Part one of the story is out now and part two comes later in the year. Here are some bonus games. Farmit has you completing mini games in order to get resources to build your farm world. Song Pop Party has you proving your music knowledge with fast paced, competitive, music based trivia. What do you think of these new arcade games from the first half of 2021? Impressed or disappointed? What I can say is Apple have brought out a range of games that can target casual, mobile gamers, console players, and even those who prefer a more desktop experience. I'd like Apple to bring some more high-end games to the service that push the graphical potential of modern Apple GPUs in the same vein as Definity and Visual Sin 2 on iPad. Anyway, leave a like to show your support and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple Arcade related. My name's Stewie, and thanks for watching.